Hey everybody, this is Kobina Wright. Um, you can call me Lightwall. Um, I wanted to show you my scroll past one of the oldest buildings here in Lake Elsinore. And it's located on the corner of Graham and Spring Street. Today it's known as the Chimes, but back in 1887, when it was built, it was called the Crescent Bathhouse. Yes. It was a bathhouse inspired by a Victorian era interpretation of Moorish architecture. I won't dive too deep into the building's history because I'm not trying to make this a full blown documentary, even though I very easily could, but there's one that already exists in the way. I'm just trying to show you one of the city's gems. The building was commissioned by the city founder, Franklin Held three years after the city was established. It's a two-story building with pillared arches and a porch that wraps around the first floor and a balcony that wraps around the second. And according to a historian who was the daughter of one of the previous owners, the original color scheme was quite striking. It was made up of a deep red, white, yellow, and green for the main building and horizontal striping of the same colors on the roof and today as you can see it's pretty much all white although the roof is still striped. The bathhouse used the natural spring um, on site which was once used by the Native Americans who inhabited the region. Uh, these waters contained sulfur uh, so it didn't smell very pleasant but the bathhouse offered its guests a choice of submersion, sweat lodging, and mud baths. And these treatments were used to remedy all kinds of things, all kinds of ailments from um, arthritis to kidney disease. Um, the bathhouse went through several owners over the years and even the original construction has been modified. After it was a bathhouse, it became a boarding house and then an interior design business. And then for many years, it was an antique shop called The Chimes. Now it's a private residence, but it's still referred to as The Chimes, probably because it's had that name since the 60s um, when it first became an antique shop. Um, and it's still painted on the side of the building. When you look at the history of the chimes, you'll hear about how it's said to be haunted, but with a building from the 1880s, I guess that's kind of to be expected. So the next time you're in Lake Elsinore, make sure you drive past the corner of Graham and Spring and take a look at the building for yourself. This walk didn't really give it justice, but it's a landmark and a unique piece of the city's foundation.